LDAs. These are essentially like an ILS or just the localizer component of an ILS, but they are not aligned with the runway center line. As I said, some of them, it used to be most of them, were just the localizer component only. But now you're seeing more and more that also include a glide slope. When they do include a glide slope, they are not a precision approach. It's an approach with vertical guidance, just like an RNAV LPV or an LNAV VNAV would be. But that does mean that if there is vertical guidance in a glide slope, then you have a decision altitude. If it's just the localizer component, then it's a minimum descent altitude. It's really the exact same technology, the same radio systems as a LOC or an ILS. The difference, as I said, is that it's not aligned with the runway center line. Now, if that alignment is within 30 degrees, then you're gonna see straight in minimums unless that descent profile is too steep. Otherwise, if either the descent profile doesn't permit or that course alignment exceeds 30 degrees from the runway center line, then the LDA will be published as a circling only procedure. 